Welcome into the original Gangsters podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to uh, dive back into the blue wave, uh, pagans, outlaws. What's going on in Oklahoma? Uh, we had a conviction this summer and a sentence related to a shooting on a highway back, Highway 6 uh, in Oklahoma back in the fall of 2021 involving three or four uh Outlaws and a couple pagans. Outlaws have controlled Oklahoma for 45 plus years. Virgil Nelson, who was the number one defendant in this case, Arlo is his nickname, uh, was one of the founding fathers of the outlaws in Oklahoma. I think they opened up uh, the chapter in 77 or 78 and, and Nelson and about six other guys went down to uh, Florida to uh, be part of like a, a Halloween ceremony that granted them their chapter. Nelson's was dropped from the case last year. Uh, all charges were dropped. And as of this summer, Steve Roberts, the alleged trigger man in the September 2021 murder of pagan Danny Aaron, who was a, a military vet, U.S. Marine, and the pagans, as part of this blue wave expansion that was launched by Conan the Barbarian Richter, uh, national president out in New York, Long Island, he wanted to go out west. And the, the pagans have never had a, a, a big presence out in the west. And some of the, the push west ended up in Oklahoma. The pagans started a chapter uh, in around Oklahoma City in 2019. And it seemed like this you know, th this type of violence was probably only a matter of time. Uh, the uh, a pagan, uh, Danny Aaron, and a prospect uh, that was with him were driving one way on this highway, and the uh, outlaws were also on that highway. They, they saw each other, and uh, shooting broke out. Steve Roberts was convicted this summer of murdering Danny Aaron. This past week, he was sentenced to 13 years in prison in state court. Uh, this wasn't a federal case. This was a state state case. But, it, you know, it, it just really encapsulates what's going on with this blue wave expansion and going into areas that the pagans had never been in and running into either outlaws uh, or, or hell's angels. and. Uh, that's why there's talk of a kind of an outlaws hell's angel peace treaty possibly to unify to to try to nip in the bud why i guess that might be impossible it's already starting to bloom but uh stem off this this blue wave initiative uh richter as we spoke about in the last couple of weeks uh, was supposed to come out of prison on a federal gun case but it is back with the state authorities in new york having to do a, another year two years on a state gun case most in most cases, it would have run concurrent because the government uh, has such a um, target on, on Conan's head. They're making him run consecutive. But just quickly, Arlo Nelson, who is the, you know, one of, if not the most uh, veteran and uh, uh, venerable outlaw shot callers in Oklahoma, you know, there was he was the vice president. Uh, through mo through most of the 80s and 90s uh, until his uh, he did some prison time uh, and came out of prison at some point in the last five years, I believe. And there's debate about what what official position he has in the in the in the club. Uh, he's been described as the godfather of the Oklahoma City outlaws. I've also had people very close to him. Uh, tell me that that's that's a falsehood that uh, he is more of like a, a esteemed elder statesman that the guys that are running the chapter now uh, look look to for you know, counsel or advice. But he definitely has quite the um, mythology around him, I guess, in Oklahoma biker circles. Arlo Nelson, again, the OG uh, dates back to the 1970s with the outlaws when they were just becoming a national power. And he was one of the seven people that planted that flag in Oklahoma uh, 
for the outlaws. So at first, you know, he was actually wounded in in the uh, in, in the gunfire, uh, but they believed that he was either behind it or had been involved uh, in helping Roberts shoot. But it looks that that wasn't true at all, and and Nelson was simply caught in uh, you know as collateral damage when the prospect that was riding with Danny Aaron shot back at the outlaws and they, they wounded Arlo Nelson. He had to face the case for about a year. Uh, it got dropped last summer. So, but Steve Roberts is going to go do 13 years in prison. Um, and only time will tell how this is going to affect pagans outlaws relations in Oklahoma city. I'm guessing the temperatures aren't going to tamp down, but it has been quiet since uh, this case came. So for uh, Benny Behind the Glass and Jimmy, who will be back in the long form episode later this week, I'm Scott Bernstein, OG Pod out.